Okay, so in the last chapter, I talked about the linear probability model where our dependent variable was a binary variable or a dummy variable which was taking a value of 0 and 1. And I said that uh, one major problem with linear probability model is that the probabilities that we get from this type of model are not bonded between 0 and 1. So that was the first issue with the, the linear probability model. The other issue with the linear probability model is uh, that the model contains uh, heteroscedasticity in it. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about this model in particular and talk about how to correct for heteroscedasticity from the linear probability model. So let me show you an example that I showed you earlier. And here, our dependent variable is uh, this binary variable which shows whether a woman is participating in the labor force or not. And then we have a bunch of uh, other explanatory variables on the right hand side. So we can go ahead and uh, look at the results here. But as I said earlier, these standard errors are heteroscedastic. So we have to correct uh, these standard errors. And uh, we can use this QF test function to correct for heteroscedasticity from the model. These are the usual errors and these are the heteroscedasticity robust uh, standard errors. Most of uh, the robust and uh, the usual standard errors are the same. And uh, whenever there is a difference between uh, the usual standard errors and the robust set standard errors, it's uh, practically very small. So we can say that while heteroscedasticity is a problem in theory, in this type of a model, at least in this example, it is not a major problem in practice because essentially both of these standard errors are identical. So this could not be always the case. So it is always uh, better to report these robust standard errors with a linear probability model where we know that there is a problem of heteroscedasticity. Okay, let's look at another example. And in this example, we're gonna use the GPA one data set and we want to estimate the probability of owning a computer, which is shown by this dependent variable PC, which shows whether somebody owns a computer or not. And then we have a bunch of uh, other uh, explanatory variables on the right hand side. And in this model, there are two dummy variables showing whether a father has a college education or not, and whether a mother has a college education or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this f if else function and this will take a value of uh, one if at least one of the parents uh, attended uh, college and zero otherwise. What this uh, function is saying that if either father college education is equal to one or mother college education is one, then this variable will take a value of one. So essentially this variable is showing whether one of the parent uh, attended college or not. Okay, so these are the results from uh, this regression equation. Okay, so these errors are the usual standard errors. What we can do is we can find the robust standard errors by using this uh, library LM test and library car and then I'm going to pass uh, our estimated saved model to this uh, heteroscedasticity corrected uh, covariance matrix. So again, there are no significant differences between the usual and robust uh, standard errors. So at least even in this example, there are no difference between the robust and the usual standard errors. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna estimate this model by using weighted least squares method. And for this, I'm gonna find the fitted values of our dependent variable and then I'm going to calculate this hx function that I introduced you earlier and we're going to use this hx function to create our weights. So in this example, when our dependent variable is a binary variable, the formula to calculate uh, h of x is y hat multiplied by 1 minus y hat. And then I'm going to create weight, which is the inverse of this hx function. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to use this w as uh, weights in our usual model and look at the results or better i'm going to look at uh, all of the results in one table 
So looking at uh, these results, again, there is no important differences in uh, the usual OLS standard errors and uh, the weighted least squares estimates. Parent college education is a significant uh, variable in both OLS and FGLS. And uh, this coefficient value shows that the probability of uh, personal computer ownership is about 22% higher if at least one of the parents attended a college. So essentially, there were two issues with the linear probability model. The first was that the computed probabilities could be less than zero or greater than one. And there is a way of uh, correcting uh, that as well. But here we are more interested in knowing whether we can correct for the heteroscedasticity which is embedded in uh, the linear probability model. So we can either get the robust standard errors or we can use this function to calculate weights and then calculate the weighted least squares or FGLS in this case because we are estimating uh, these weights to correct for the heteroscedasticity in the linear probability model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.